Hey, Sushi. Are you there? Hey, Brian. How's it going? You're not going to believe this, but I'm in a big mess again. LOL. This is serious, Sushi. I need help. Baby crazy. Can you realize that I love the way you drive? Okay. Calm down. You can count on me. What's happening? Well, I guess I should start from the top. Here's what happened. A few days ago, Gina and I were on vacation in Hawaii. You know, sun, sand, daiquiris, the hula. Anyway, the thing is that Gina wanted to go to Tiki Falls on Mala Island. So, even though I didn't feel like it, we got up early one morning to go on our ill-fated little day trip. So tired. Come on, man. I bet we're gonna have an amazing time. If you oh. say so. Come on.
It'll be awesome. Come on, don't tell me you've never dreamed of seeing the waterfalls and the Tiki Temple. Platypus Tours, huh? Couldn't you find a more upscale agency? I called a few others, but they all told me their flights to Mala Island were temporarily canceled for some reason. That's weird. Oh, don't be such a worrywart. A really kind old man at Platypus told me there was no problem. We better get moving. The pilot is expecting us on the beach at 8 o'clock sharp. Take this the wrong way, sir, but aren't you a bit age challenged to be flying a plane? Ryan, don't you think that was a bit rude? Forgive him, Otto. I'm sure you're a first class pilot. Not very hot cakes. I'm used to dealing with smart Alex like him. And don't you very, dude. This old bird's wings are still a flapping. So, let's get a move on and fly over to Mala Island. I can't wait to get there. Ryan, cheer up that grumpy face and stop worrying. Okay. By the way, Otto, that hydroplane doesn't look like it's compliant with Hawaiian transportation safety standards. Oh, I assure you, there's no reason to fret. This sweet purring machine will keep you safer than Air Force One. <laughs> Here comes the breakdown. Oh, God. Somehow I knew this I wouldn't have a happy ending. Me. Come on, because hurry! You have to jump! He's flown to floor sky, no doubt about it. And there's only one parachute. So get the thing on, because I'm opening the door. Well, let's jump together. I am not leaving you here in a crash. No, Gina, the parachute won't hold us full. I can manage the way believe I saved my skin this time. My poor body aches, but I don't think anything's broken. Just a few scratches. Ah! Otto! Where could he be?
How weird. Otto is gone. I don't know. Maybe he was thrown from the plane when we crashed. Poor little devil. I feel awful for him. But he could have chosen some other time to fly the coop. I really get irked by people who make drastic decisions without consulting anyone else. I seem to have crashed in quite a lush area. Well, the first thing I should do is find Gina. I saw from the plane that she was falling over a lake. I hope she didn't have any trouble swimming ashore to safety. She's probably searching for me, too. I'll be needing our backpacks before I set off to see where we've landed. Oh, man. They're not here, either. Nothing. They vanished without a trace. What a bummer. They must have flown out when we crashed. Well, I'll just have to make do with what I have. It's hard... as if I'm in the middle of a jungle. I can't... Big trees probably saved my life. to catch some rays, but this is no time to get No way. You need a key to open it. It's locked. I don't know much about plane. Wow! I got the front hatch of the plane open. Just some old binoculars. Seems as if Otto liked to travel well prepared. Better use the ones on my side. I don't see anything worthwhile. Well, perhaps Gina's hair clip. Gina will be ex... That doesn't sound like a bright idea to me. Jump. That's it! It's working! I fixed it! Well, let's just tighten this little doohickey here and... There we are! Ready to go! Hey, Brian from the past! It's me, your pal Joshua, broadcasting from the Distant Future Channel! 
I'm sure you've got some big questions on your mind. Firstly, how the blazes did you manage to do it, Joshua? Well, I am a genius. Thanks to my four-digit IQ, I assembled this amazing two-bit telepathic gizmo allowing me to chit-chat with you across various time-space continuums. Second, why are you doing this, Joshua? Ryan, the world is chock full of parallel dimensions and the same stuff does not happen in all of them. However, in the cardinal dimension where I'm standing, you already solved the mystery of the big head babe falling into the lake. Elsewhere, luck changes. Bear in mind that everything you experience is new to you. Cause you're in the past and none of this has actually happened. Boggles the mind, huh? And... Third, you know... Understand the... Oh, and... And I said... Hey, Joshua! Why don't you have in all the dimensions making sure they don't croak in their time? That would cause a dimensional paradox totally messing everything up. That would be bad. So, when you're clueless about what to do next, just ask me. That's my job. My great memory and bulging brain package are at your disposal. And now, let's see what's in store for you. humble opinion how play it again Josh let me think in my humble opinion there is only one way out of that overgrown mess of vines how good are you at rock climbing thanks for your assistance Joshua hasta la vista Brian This one is filled with toy puppies. And I see the others are too. I'll take one. You never know. Huh. Obviously. Yeah, it requires batteries. Wow! It's one of those popular Capote p I read it's the most popular urinating toy to come out in deck. Apparently, they're all the rage. Nah, one will do for now. Hey, something fell down over there. It belongs to Otto. Where in the world did it fall from? No, better just leave it open. Plus, I don't think you can do it manually without the cabin lever. before jeez you okay let me breathe in and out slowly here let's see you must be the bright five q onion a with a fro two oh yeah i remember you hi again brian from uh well I... oh. let me think in my humble opinion, there is only one How good are you? 
Your instructions have been helpful. Goodbye. Sayonara, baby. Nah, one more. I've made it when I. Yikes! The lever came loose and the front hatch. Nope. I'll have to get out of here using my own wit. No, it gives me the heebie jeeb. Sure, and while you're at it, you might swing through the treetops on a vine, too. I'll start rehearsing my oh, call of the jungle. You can't open it by hand. It won't be of much... Jeez. However, they may be... Yeah. Let's see. Maps and flight plans. And what's that down there? A magnifying glass. I'm taking... think it would do me
and see whether the lever holds a little longer without moving. No, gives me the heat. Once again, obviously the lever was messed up in the accident. And it I don't need him. There's just a filthy old thermos inside. Hey, there's that friendly little lemur. The only way to get up there safely is by climbing the big rock first. It's too dangerous. Better find another way up there. These look truly ancient, and they're not really pocket-sized either. I don't see the re- That makes no sense. Hey! The photo's from 92, but Otto... God knows how old the guy is. This thing near its tail looks like a screw cap. There must be a tank inside that can be filled with liquid to make Capote more lifelike. Let's see. I've got to try that again. Uh, rock's too slow. I can't. Better. Ah. 
Why, it's Otto's goggles. How in the devil did they get here? I refuse to believe that. No, I can't believe Otto ended up at the bottom of that sludge. Oh, the humanity. I don't think I can reach them. I'll cut a branch to get to them. This one should do. Luckily, the lens wasn't too stained by that muck. It's too dangerous. Better find another. That makes no sense. My bag of tricks will be empty if I throw everything I own into the quicksand. That makes no sense. That won't do any good. The only way to get... I'd be I would not like to end this adventure in that... That won't do any good. It's too dangerous. Better find it. It's too d better find another Don't see anything unusual. It... <laughs> no, 